What is up guys, welcome to Padre's channel again. Today we're back again with some car reviews today, so you know, I bought the Bugatti Thrax, sorry. Damn it, uh, the Trafade Thrax, but you know, I didn't buy the Vicenio yet. Last time I just bought the, what, what does, what's that car name again, Verado Gauntlet Classic, and you know, it's awesome. Not the fastest car, but you know, a pretty decent muscle car. And I really love it really much. So we're doing another car review today on the Enus Paragon R. Alright, Enus Paragon is based on the Bentley Continentals in real life. You know, the new 2019 Bentley Continentals or 2018. I'm not sure. It's a really cool car and I'm going to go ahead and just purchase this beast. Alright, so what, what color should I get in? Seriously, man. This car, it's so awesome. I'll get it in white, maybe. Yeah, I'll get it in white. Okay, order it. And you know, deliver it to the Rena workshop. That's it. There goes another $905,000, guys. Man, it's funny that it's so easy to spend money, but it's so hard to like earn it, you know? That's how life works, mate. It's so freaking damn. Okay, it's loading, it's delivering to it, you know, I'm just going to get my car here. Come on, man, just give me a helicopter and then get the hell out of here. It looks like that my system's lagging so much, I know they record stuff, you know? Alright, on our way to the arena workshop. Right, let's see, where's the arena workshop? Jesus, so far, but you know, who the fuck cares? Let's go. Let's go, boy. Alright, so you haven't seen, you know, my last car review video. You just click the pop up button right here. And you'll get to see my full review and customization of Rado Gauntlet Classic. And that's about it. And for you guys who are new, watch my video. If you like it, Dude, like seriously, subscribe to my channel right now. You get so much love for me, and give a thumbs up, like if you enjoyed this helicopter ride I'm doing right now. And don't forget to fling the notification button if you actually subscribe to my channel. And that should be permanent. You know, I'm gonna keep posting better and better videos. So, you know, just keep subscribed. All right, to my channel. I mean, almost there, so just stay tuned for a set. Alright, so it says your new Paragon Heart is now confirmed. And this is my freaking Arena Workshop car. So I'm gonna do a parachute jump here. Alright, All right, for you kids who are out there, you know, this is, this is not possible to do in real life. So don't do it. It's a bad thing to do. Don't do this, you know. It's not really good, alright? It's not a good thing to do at all. You don't do shit, you just don't jump on a helicopter, like, anytime, anywhere, you know. It's crazy. Alright. Let's go in, man. Seriously, let's go in a workshop level. Okay, so I haven't... Uh, last time I've been here was, like, last week, and it has... Nothing has even changed since the freaking Diamond DLC update. Alright, okay, here's my Enos Paragon R. If you like this car so much, give it a thumbs up, like, and comment down below that you like Enos Paragon R, alright? And if you have any customization idea or what color, what specs you like to put in this car, just comment down below and let me know. Let me try it out, like, if it actually looks really beautiful, right? And just comment down below if you like my customization or not, or my review, right? Just comment anything Hello, like what do you feel as your day going? Just say it, alright? Just co just fill the freaking comments, alright? Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys hear the start app sound, alright? It's gonna be crazy. I always do that, I like it so much. There we go. See ya. It's not that loud. Well, it's nice. So I'm gonna take it out for a spin because I do some customizations, alright? See ya. Okay. It's your ES Paragon R. It's sexy. I got to say, it's really nice, man. Wow. I love doing that, man. The sound is just so nice. Whoa, whoa, okay. It's quick, man. It's quick, it's quick. It's 
It's nice, man. This car's so good. Holy shit. I'm gonna test it out later for like the full, you know, testing routine and stuff. I'm gonna customization. Do the customization first and, you know, to max it the level out to see what its real performance is. Oh, this car's nice. Really nice, man. Holy shit, that just takes that long to load. Come on, man. Okay. Modify your vehicle. Damn it. Okay, you know, armor probably full on, like, legit. All these stuff, just full on, man. Bumpers, front bumpers. Let me see what it is. Secondary bumper doesn't change anything. Carbon bumper. Looks a bit weird. Primary GT, wow, this is actually kind of sick, man. Oh, yeah. Secondary GT. Carbon GT does look good. This one looks kind of okay, I think. Primary race. So do you want to turn this into a race car? Or just, you know, a luxurious car? Comment down below if you like luxurious Enos Paragon R. Or, you know, racing Enos Paragon R. Just comment down below, man. For me, I like both of them. I might buy two of them. The primary race bumper looks sexy. I love that band. Rear bumper. Primary rear bumper. Carbon rear bumper. I'm going to go with primary, right? Engine. Max it out. Exhaust. Titanium. What is this? Chrome oval tip? Okay. Titanium. Big bore. Race exhaust, yeah, like those race exhausts that's so big that you can even, you know, shove a golf ball in, alright. Grill, chrome grill, exposed. Uh, I don't like these ones, these are too, like, naked for the car. Exposed, and I like chrome grill, let's go with chrome grill. Hood, secondary hood, carbon hood, no, nope, vented. I don't like carbon, to be honest. It's only black. Primary carbon race hood. Primary race hood. I don't like carbon. Too much carbon doesn't look that nice, but. Okay, lights. I'm gonna go with whites. Xenon lights. That's it. No neon kits. Liveries. Wow, this is an interesting part. See what livery I got here. Clean green. Oh, this one is a copy of the Continental GT. That livery. This livery looks kind of nice, you know. Since Satane, oh, bro, this one looks rich. This one's so cool. It's like full on metal. And Jesus. Work racer. This one is blue, kind of thing. Greenish. Really green. Oh, England. Representing its country. Is England as well? Oh, man. Doing busy work. Nice. Big enough. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Hashi, hashtag high brain. Oh, this is some rich kind of things, man. Big enough in us racing. Kind of want this one, but this one, I don't like it, man. Work racer. I might get this one. It looks kind of, you know, RG, original. I like it. Yeah, I'll get this one. Lost the French. We got, got that plate. Oh, it's my custom plate, you know. How J. Primary color, matte white looks nice. I think. Where's white? Ice white. Does it look? Does it have any difference on it? Yeah, I don't know. Let's try metallic, ice white. Oh man, seriously. Whoa, this color looks nice with the green. I reckon. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Who the hell? Who the hell knows? Yeah. I'm going matte white. It's the best. Secondary color. What change is that? Oh, the chrome. Chrome, man. Only changes chrome? Wait, what? Oh, the bumper changes as well. Okay, I'll go with a chrome. Cool. Go to ice white, same plan. Roll cage. This is pun part of all. 
racing has got to have roll cage with carbon seats. No, this update is full of seats, man. Carbon racing seats go with this one. Race seats, man. Race seats. Oh, nice. Roof. Secondary. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't like these. I'm not gonna sell this car, man. Primary skirts. I'm going with primary skirts. Spoiler. Yeah, sports wing. Too low, man. Low GT wing. Too low, man. Race wing. This one looks actually looks pretty nice with the race wing. Endurance wing. This one looks really big on Inas Paragon R, but you know, kind of looks good, but you know, it's pretty ridiculous. Low GT wing actually looks perfect on this car, man. Sports wing. Let me see. Sports wing is actually like the real life one, I reckon. I don't know. I'm gonna go with this. Put down on the comments below as well, you know, to see which wings you like, because I can't really select any one of them. Might go with this one. Endurance wing. Go in north. Sun strips. Anus. Yeah, anus. Suspension. A bit lower. Because that's really low. Okay, no low ones. Transmission, no race transmissions. Turbo, oh, it's a turbo tuning, let's go. Wheels, high end. I'm gonna go, obviously, go with black wheels to be honest. That's how it works, right? Black wheels. Is there any sport black wheels? I can't, I can't remember, man. Sports wheels are not good as high end ones, man. Seriously. Oh, this one looks nice. Absolutely awesome. Tires, I'm gonna go with custom tires, of course. It's a racing car, man. Okay, enhancements, bulletproof for sure. Tire smoke, nah, I love that kind of bullshit. Limo, man. All my cars are limo. It looks pretty cool. Right, there's my Enos Paragon R. Huh? If you like this customization, give a thumbs up, like, and say. You you have a good customization, pal, Jay. Just put it down in the comments below. Okay. Exit the arena to try the vehicle. A new race car. Holy shit. I turned it into an actual race car. Wow, bro. Let me check this out. Sounds, sounds better. Seriously, so much better. Wow. Holy damn it, bro. Okay, the braking, it kind of lags a bit, but it doesn't matter. Wow, that's a really nice, this car. So I'm gonna rate this car again. Design, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Speed, 10 out of 10. Braking, I'll give it a 5 out of 10 because I didn't try it. I'm gonna try traction as well. Whoa, 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 okay. Sorry, shh, 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 Okay, I'm not gonna move. And traction give you like 6 out of 10, alright? The speed is actually good. Design is awesome, man. But the braking and traction stuff, they're really impressive. You know, not like supercars. It's a sports car, right? So it's not good. I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest. Okay, let's see what's the interior like when you're like driving. Interior looks... Really good, you know, I love the speedometer, it's like a racing speedometer. That's good, you guys have the music bar. And then the roll cage seems really bright. Sports seats are slow, so it's okay. Interior, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 actually, it's so cool. You have the racing props, I like the, you know, the digital dynamometers. So cool, the music bar. I love it, man. You know, not that much detail, but it's better. It's direct locks. I didn't make a copy of it. You know, this is actually they created like kind of created like something new. I did light it. Okay, wow. Okay, you can't you can't see stuff at the back, but this ginormous wings actually blocking it. So I don't know. For me, it's fine. I don't really look at the back. You know, I just drive in front. All right, let's park this somewhere. I'll park it over here, alright? Okay, so let's get into first person mode. Alright. 
anus. I love it. There's a word back there and a small bit of logo. Love the license plate as well. It's my name, yeah. Guess this car overall design is awesome. Sorry for the little bit of scratch up there. It, if the indicator lights actually work, it will be pretty cool. But it's like, just like, I mean, two indicator lights. That's kind of crazy, but it's kind of weird as with the Long Rocks that did that. I'm gonna turn the engine on, alright? And turn every freaking door on to see, like, all oh, door works. Doors, I'm gonna put it on. Okay, so here we got a 12 cylinder. I don't know, man. One, two, three, four, five, ten cylinder engine. You know, I don't have a leader in this. Actually, it's a really good design. We got the intercooler right here, the freaking engine here, and is that a battery? Nice detail, man. Where's the water? What that is? I think that's where you put water in. Uh, the wind window wiper is actually really ridiculous. I don't know. That design, I'll give it a 0 out of 10. kind of looks awkward right there, you know, because, I don't know. This kind of looks awkward, alright? The car looks pretty cool. The engine actually looks really well. Okay, the seat is actually really big, you know, like full of legroom space and all of that. And the door opens really wide. Okay, the luggage storage room, you can't really see anything, but there's not many details, but you can't put anything inside. Like, it's legit, it's like only a little small suitcase, that's his point, and not much storage room. I hate that. I wish that Rockstar made that she could put like stuff, a dog behind it, but I'd probably die. And you know, that's pretty good, alright? Okay, so I'm gonna close on the doors now. Okay, that's it for for this car and it's awesome. Nice See that the Roman commented that's a nice ride man. It's really cool. Okay so guys that's it for today for the Inus In In Paragon R. If you like this car give a thumbs up like like my reviews give a thumbs up like don't forget to click the subscribe button and from the notification to get notified when I post new videos. And that's it for today. See you in the next video.